Bees have five eyes. Bees are insects, so they have six legs. Male bees in the hive are called drones. Bees fly about 20 miles per hour. Female bees in the hive, except the queen, are called worker bees. Number of eggs laid by queen, 2,000 per day is the high. 1. Busy bees. Almost 90% of wild plants and 75% of leading global crops depend on animal pollination. Point one, one out of every three mouthfuls of our food depends on pollinators. Crops that depend on pollination are five times more valuable than those that do not. Bees can be found living in so many locations, some surprising. Let's list a few, marshes, shingle, sand dunes, soft cliffs, heathlands, wetlands, chalk grasslands, quarries, gravel pits, sea walls and even post-industrial land. Three bees also rely on a transport system to get around. Imagine trying to travel around Britain without our road and rail network. Or imagine if 9 out of every 10 miles of road just didn't exist life would be impossible. Bee lines are an imaginative and beautiful solution to the problem of the loss of flowers and pollinators. The bee lines are a series of insect pathways running through our countryside and towns. They link existing wildlife areas together, creating a network, like a railway, that will weave across the British landscape. For bringing a bee back to life. If you find a bumblebee which appears to be struggling, it may be that it is just resting, particularly if the bee is a queen in early spring. If you think the bee is struggling the best thing to do is gently put the bee onto a bee-friendly flower. If there are no bee-friendly flowers around, mix 50 50ths white sugar and water to give the bumblebee a one-off energy boost, providing the carbohydrates it needs to fly. Simply offer a drop or two of sugar water up to the front end of the bee on a teaspoon or an upturned drinks cap in a sheltered place and allow the bee time to recuperate. It is not advisable to use brown sugar as it is harder for bees to digest and don't give bumblebees honey as this can contain pathogens. 5. Anyone, including you, can help a bee out. We can all do our bit to help bees whether that's in our gardens, balconies, or window sills. You can also chat to friends and family about how cool bees are and help them to make their wild spaces bee friendly. Plant a range of flowers in your garden so bees have access to nectar from March to October. Bees love traditional cottage garden flowers and native wildflowers, like primrose, budlia, and marigolds. Six bees actually have four wings. The two wings each side hook together to form one larger pair when flying and then unhook when they're not flying. Seven BGs. Honey bees have a dance move called the waggle dance. It's not actually a dance move at all, rather a clever way of communicating between themselves to tell their nest mates where to go to find the best source of food. It took the researchers at Sussex University two years to decode the waggle dance. 8. The Brainy Bunch The buff-tailed bumblebee has a brain the size of a poppy seed. Which is incredible given the fact scientists have managed to train them to score a goal in bee football in return for a sugary treat. Quite unbelievable. Bumblebee feeding on garden plants. 9. They have surprisingly smelly feet. Scientists from the University of Bristol have discovered that bumblebees have the ability to use their smelly footprints to distinguish between their own scent, the scent of a relative and the scent of a stranger. This means they can improve their success in finding food and avoid flowers that already have been visited. A beehive in Cockermouth, Cumbria, UK that has been infected and damaged by the Vero destructor mite. 10. A dinner for queens. If the queen bee dies in a honey beehive the workers can create a new queen bee. They do this by selecting a young larva and by feeding it special food called royal jelly the larva will develop into a fertile queen. Bees have five eyes. Bees are insects, so they have six legs. Male bees in the hive are called drones. Bees fly about 20 miles per hour. Female bees in the hive, except the queen, are called worker bees. Number of eggs laid by queen, 2,000 per day is the high. Why do we need bees? Bees are essential to a healthy environment and healthy economy. We rely on them and other insects to pollinate most of our fruit and vegetables. 
but bees are under threat and without them so is our food and economy. You can make your garden, street, and community bee friendly. It's also vital that we persuade the government to take action. Join the generation that saves bees. To a healthy environment needs bees. Whether you find them charming or annoying, bees are incredibly important. They pollinate plants in gardens, parks, and the wider countryside, including more than three quarters of the UK's wildflowers. Flourishing nature and healthy animal populations are a sign of how healthy our environment is, yet one million species face extinction including over 20,000 species of bee and a quarter of UK mammals. Ask government to prevent mass extinction and protect our animals and the enviro. Three bee-friendly spaces are good for us too. Places that are good for pollinators are good for people too. We share bees need for varied, natural green spaces and the essentials such places provide, such as clean air and water. They're important if we're going to cope with a changing climate natural spaces absorb excess water and heat, and can offer cool shade. Five different bees have different personalities. The honey bee is probably the best known bee around, but over 270 species of bee have been recorded in Great Britain. Honey bees and bumblebees live socially, led by a queen and serviced by male drones and female worker bees. Solitary bees tend to be smaller and their family unit is made up of a single pair. Although lots of solitary bees can be found in one area, they operate alone. Bumblebees are distinguished by their large furry bodies and species include the black and yellow striped garden bumblebee and red-tailed bumblebee. Solitary bees include mason bees, leafcutter bees, and mining bees. The wool carter bee strips hair from plants to weave its nest, while the red mason bee lives inside hollow plant stems and holes in wood. Eight without bees, we're in trouble. The outlook for bees right now is quite bleak and their drop in numbers is a sign of the plight of the natural world as a whole. Across society, we often undervalue nature and what it does for us. The truth is, if we want an economy that provides for everyone's needs in the long term, we need to look after our natural environment. Our politicians need to understand the importance of protecting the natural world including bees. 12 Bees Love Herbs Choose flowers with pollen that bees can get at easily single flower varieties for example. Grow a range of plants that will provide a succession of flowers for as long as possible during the year bees need nectar from very early spring until early winter. The great thing about gardening is that it's good for you as well as wildlife. Fresh air and gentle exercise improve health and well-being. The scale of your bee-friendly growing will depend on your outside space, but it all helps. If you don't have a garden, plant a window box or hanging basket. You could try. Flowering herbs try marjoram, chives, sage, and thyme. Low growers try crocus, bluebell, snowdrop, and nasturtium. Bushy plants try hyssop, hebe, rosemary, and lavender. Trees try hawthorn, hazel, holly and willow. Fruit and vegetables try strawberries, tomatoes, and beans. Attractive ornamentals try Achillea, Allium, Angelica, Echinacea, Foxglove, and Verbena. The honeybee is the only insect that produces food eaten by man. A honeybee can fly for up to 6 miles, and as fast as 15 miles per hour, hence it would have to fly around 90,000 miles dash 3 times around the globe to make 1 pound of honey. It takes 1 ounce of honey to fuel a bee's flight around the world. Honey is 80% sugars and 20% water. Honey bees produce beeswax from eight paired glands on the underside of their abdomen. Honey bees must consume about 17 to 20 pounds of honey to be able to biochemically produce each pound of beeswax. Bees maintain a temperature of 92 to 93 degrees Fahrenheit in their central brood nest regardless of whether the outside temperature is 110 or minus 40 degrees. A populous colony may contain 40,000 to 60,000 bees during the late spring or early summer. The queen bee lives for about two to three years. She is the busiest in the summer months, when the hive needs to be at its maximum strength, and lays up to 2,500 eggs a day. The queen may mate with up to 17 drones over a one to two day period of mating. 
the queen may lay 600 to 800 or even 1,500 eggs each day during her three or four year lifetime. This daily egg production may equal her own weight. She is constantly fed and groomed by attendant worker bees. Worker honey bees live for about four weeks in the spring or summer but up to six months during the winter. The average honey bee will actually make only one twelfth of a teaspoon of honey in its lifetime. Honey bees fly at up to 15 miles per hour. The honey bees wings stroke 11,400 times per minute, thus making their distinctive buzz. A honey bee visits 50 to 100 flowers during a collection trip. Honey bees, scientifically also known as Apis mellifera, are environmentally friendly and are vital as pollinators. Fermented honey, known as mead, is the most ancient fermented beverage. The term honeymoon originated with the Norse practice of consuming large quantities of mead during the first month of a marriage. Only female honeybees can sting, the males, drones, are not able to sting, but if you are stung it will probably be by a worker. Queen honeybees can sting, but they remain close to the hive, and so a sting from a honeybee queen would be very rare. If the queen honeybee is removed from the hive, within 15 minutes, the rest of the colony knows about it. A typical honeybee colony may have around 50,000 workers. Male honeybees, drones, have no father, but they do have a grandfather. The queen honeybee is about twice the length of a worker. A honeybee queen may lay as many as 2,000 to 3,000 eggs per day as she establishes her colony. Honeybees communicate through pheromones passed on through feeding. This is called trophallaxis. Learn more about honeybee communication. Drones, male honeybees, die after mating. Poor things. Foraging honeybees have to fly about 55,000 miles to produce a pound of honey, visiting around 2 million flowers. Learn more about how bees make honey.